Hello, welcome to our second week of the school year. We have some hearing and vision screening this week and we need to plan ahead for some upcoming items, the tin can auction and new imagination stations for semester two. So um, for those two items, if you would add your info to the two documents that are linked below, that would be awesome. So first up, the tin can auction. Um, we try not to have repeated groups so or repeated baskets. So if you would put your basket idea onto this Google Doc, where there's a link right here, if you click on that, it'll open up this document. And this document shows each classroom or each group and um, which basket they would like to do. Um, if I forgot a group or I wasn't sure, some people like to do individual baskets or um, Sometimes in the past TLC or Head Start or other groups have done baskets, so feel free to add your name if you are going to do an additional basket. And then put your basket name over here in this column, like I think Mrs. Heberling's class is doing a chocolate basket. It can be the same basket theme from a previous year. We just try not to have two classrooms doing the same exact theme. So those basket ideas, you should be able to edit this document and add your info. Um, then the next document I want to share with you is a list of elective ideas that were sent to me. And if you have ideas, please add them to the chart. And if you see an idea that you'd really like to teach for next semester, then put your name next to it. And hopefully you'll get your first choice. So here are, um, if you click on this link here, this will take you to the, the Google Doc for the Friday electives or the Imagination Station ideas for semester two. Um, some of the ideas that came to me were cultures, so study or do crafts from a different culture each week. Dance, study a different dance each week, so you could do square dance, ballet, different things. Languages, study a different language each week, like sign language, Spanish, Pig Latin, etc. Table games, teach or play different table games each week. Occupations, have professionals come in, like a chef, a banker, a builder. Yoga or mindfulness, STEM or STEAM. And Sue Heberling and I were talking about this on Friday, a knitting or crochet imagination station. That would be a cool little skill for kids to learn if they don't know that already. So if you have an idea, please add it to the elective list. If you see one that you really would like to sign up for, go ahead and put your name by it and hopefully um, we'll get all of them filled so that we have enough to offer choices to our Tigers for semester two. Third item is the Red Wings reading program. And this is something I sent out last week. Students can win a pair of Detroit Red Wings tickets and also a Red Wings for reading fan pack. Um, I thought that this program might hook some of our boys who are into sports or even some of the kids who maybe need an extra incentive to help them read. More info can be found on this DetroitRedWings.com forward slash reading website. Um, also that for the K2 reading list, if anyone has some of those books, I could borrow them and read them on my nightly book read aloud. That way the Tigers can say that they've heard them and can add them to their list. So there's a PDF linked here and that PDF opens the PDF that I sent to you by email last week about the um, reading program and um, you must submit online no later than Thursday, January 31st. So these are the book reading lists here. So if you can look for each of your grades reading level or reading, sorry, each of your grade level reading list, and then you could send that out with your students. And finally, the K2 Literacy and Math Mathematics benchmark testing window is open. I printed the test tickets. Um, I just want to get with Shoshana and Andrea and figure out when um, would be a good time for testing um, because I usually use some help from the aides and the RTI staff. So I will get that out to you as soon as possible. Um, calendar items this week. On Monday, there's K1 and 2 hearing screening. Thursday is fourth grade hearing and third grade vision screening. Thursday is also my principal's meeting, so I'll be out in the morning. And then Friday is a tornado drill. So um, those things are coming up this week. And then also athletics this week is listed at the bottom. And the POM team has a performance on Monday. All right. That's it for this week's memo. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Adrian's been sick all weekend, so I've done a lot of just laying around the house, which has been kind of good for me. But I'm ready to get back to work. So I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.